Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a greedy method. So when compared to all algorithm approach, whatever we have so far discussed, the simplest and straightforward approach, you call it as a greedy method. This greedy method is the simplest and straightforward, straightforward approach. So actually this is not an algorithm, uh, just it is just simply technique. So greedy method is a technique, you can call it as a technique. Rather than calling as an algorithm, it's better to call it as a technique. So actually what this approach will do, what the main function of this approach, uh, actually in this approach, the decision is taken, the greedy method, the decision is taken on basis of current available information. Okay. So, in the greedy method, the decision is taken on the basis of uh, current available information. Whatever the values that, whatever the information that is present uh, at present. Uh, so, th the decision will be taken based on that values. So, uh, and it does not, uh, and uh, without worrying about, worrying about the effect of current decision in future. Means it doesn't bother about the future work. So, it, uh, it just discuss what is the present work is going on. So, a greedy method is a decision, uh, the decision is taken on the basis of current available information without worrying, without worrying about the effect of current decision in future. So, it doesn't think about whether, suppose if I insert these uh, values, uh, it will, at present it is working, but in future it may or may not work. So, it doesn't bother about that. It uh, think about the present decision. So, this technique is used to determine a feasible solution. This technique is determined to a feasible solution uh, that may or may not be optimal. That may or may not optimal. Okay. So, what is a feasible solution? What is an optimal solution? Actually, feasible solution is any subset that satisfies the given criteria, you call it as a feasible solution. I mean, suppose if you take an n, n inputs, uh, its solution contains a subset of inputs. So, whatever the n inputs you are taking, the uh, solution contains a subset of inputs which satisfies a given condition. So, if you take any subset, any subset that satisfies the condition you call it as a feasible solution means in uh, all the subset it's if any subset is satisfied then you call it a, that solution that subset is a feasible solution what is an optimal solution optimal is nothing but it takes the best or most favorable solution best or most favorable solution so, here in the feasible solution, if any subset satisfies the condition, you can take any one. So, if all the solutions are stagnant, you, you just take any one of the solution. But in optimal, it takes only the best and the most favorable solution that is present in the objective function. So, it is just like a feasible solution, but where objective function reaches its maximum or minimum value, then you call it as a uh, optimal solution. Now, let us see what are the characteristics of uh, Greedy method. Characteristics and features of greedy method. So, to construct the solution uh, in an opti optimal way, this algorithm maintains two sets. So, the first point is to construct to construct the solution in an optimal optimal way this algorithm maintains this algorithm maintains two subs two sets so that is uh, one contains chosen items one set contains 
chosen items means which are uh, having the solution chosen items and the next other contains another set contains rejected items so whatever you are taking the to construct a solution if you want to construct a uh, solution by using the grading method uh, to make it as an optimal way you have to select two sets one the selected items and another is the rejected items means one gives the best and minimum value and another gives the maximum value and the second characteristic is greedy altogether makes good local choice in the hope that they results in optimal solution and the feasible solution so greedy algorithm make good local choices means it select the choices in the hope they result in a, an optimal solution optimal solution or a feasible solution feasible solution so these are the features and characteristics now let us see uh, the components that are present in components of greedy algorithm so in this video i am just giving the overview of greedy algorithm what this greedy algorithm contains what it mainly bases on so it's just selects the solution uh, that thinks about the present not about the future it takes the best value that is uh, related to the present value so next uh, the components that are present in the greedy algorithm is first is a candidate set a candidate set so candidate set means here a solution is created based on this set so whatever the solution that the greedy method is creating that is a solution is created by using the candidate set from this set and the second point is and the second component is a selection function so what's the use of selection function in the greedy algorithm so this selection function is used to choose the best candidate the best candidate to be added to the solution means you are selecting the best uh, uh, subset and next the third one the third component that is present is a feasible function a feasibility function So what is the use of this feasibility function? It is used to determine whether a candidate can be used to contribute the solution. So whether the candidate is used to contribute the solution is not is decided by the feasibility function and coming to the next the fourth component that is present uh, in the greedy algorithm is a objective function objective function so what's the use of this objective function actually this is used to objective function is used to assign a value just it assigns a value to a solution or a partial solution so whether it is a partial solution or the solution so this objective function is used to assign a value and the next component that is is a solution function the final is a solution function so what is the use of the solution function in the greedy algorithm it is used to it is used to indicate indicate whether a complete solution has been reached or not so it's just a solution function is final decision it is used to indicate whether a complete solution has been reached or not that will be decided by the solution function so these are the five components that are present in the greedy algorithm a candidate set a selection function a feasibility function objective function and a solution function now coming to the applications that are used in the greedy algorithm what are the areas of application so let me write that areas of 
applications so in which uh, fields its greedy method is used actually the greedy method is used to solve many problems so what type of problems it is used to solve so it is used to solve the uh, shortest path finding shortest path finding shortest path and it is used to finding the minimum spanning tree finding minimum spanning tree by using the prims algorithm or the kruskal's algorithm and the next application is job sequencing job sequencing with the deadline and uh, fractional knapsack problems fractional knapsack problems so these are the different applications uh, of the greedy method so in this uh, greedy method topic we will discuss about each and every application clearly so let me explain the pseudo code of the greedy algorithm so after that we will continue with the applications so pseudo code pseudo code for greedy algorithm so let me write the pseudo code just i am writing here algorithm greedy so a comma n a is an array and n is the number of inputs that we are giving uh, so let us take the solution a solution is equal to zero means we are just initializing the solution to zero now checking for i is i is equal to 1 to n do x should be select a means we are selecting the array element so whatever the elements that are present in that uh, so that elements we have to select it and that should be uh, assigned to x value and we have to check if the feasible solution is present or not feasible solution comma x sorry you write solution solution comma x so this is starting the solution should be zero and the item the first select uh, element in the array so if feasible solution comma x then you have to combine that the solution is equal to union of solution comma x finally you have to return the solution return solution okay so this is the pseudo code for the greedy algorithm so in the next video we will discuss about the each and every application finding shortest path finding minimum spanning tree job sequencing with the deadline and fractional knapsack problems thank you